Think about what God created when he said, train up a child the way they should go. And in that training, parents need to be present with them, which only comes if there's true love, because then there is sacrifice. The sacrifice is that you are willing to lay aside your interest for the interest of the child. Every kid that comes into foster care experiences trauma. Some of the behaviors that I see in our foster children are sadness and anger. And so children come into foster care very confused. There's always a meaning behind the behavior in the children, and so that's them trying to express what they've experienced. I don't think that foster parents realize how long that can take for a child to come out of whatever emotion they're feeling. Children in foster care, if not receiving the most appropriate care and if they wander from place to place, their trajectory lands them potentially as homeless, high school dropouts, early pregnancies. The help that we provide foster parents almost like starts before we even get involved. You know, you're talking to a family that has been building a relationship with Jesus for years. My favorite part of the whole job is to build relationships with not just the kids, but also the parents. So we serve children in our care um, by doing basically anything and everything, providing them services so we connect them to educational resources, maybe therapy, as well as sharing the love of Jesus. It's a different type of relationship when you know two people are believers. We're not going in there with the mindset of, I want to just help the child today, or I want to just help the family. You know, we really truly ask, what's going on with the child? Let's work through that. Okay, what's going on with you guys? How can we support you? They've got a church community that's supporting them and loving them. They're being fed with the Word. They're worshiping in community with other believers. That's something that happens, you know, without us, but it happens with us because we're going to Christian foster families. And then just building on that, uh, encouraging them to stay involved in their church. One of the things about we're blessed here in the upstate of South Carolina um, in our partnership with the Department of Social Services, we remain the number one provider of basic standard foster care. And that's because I really believe that people are hearing the clarion cry for the needs. We, we want it to be known that we are a ministry who offers social work and not a social work agency that ministers. Our foster children are coming into care from these broken families, and they're being placed with our foster families who want to just show them the perfect love of our Heavenly Father, and that's through the fruit of the Spirit. So they're showing them the extra compassion, the extra patience and love that they've really not experienced yet. We're all sinners saved by grace, right? Helps us in our outlook for how we view the birth parents. Sometimes where we watch a birth parents make a mistake, something that was definitely harmful to the child, and then they are able to recover, they're able to rehabilitate, and they're able to get their child back, and it's really fun to see foster parents grow an attachment even for the parents. We as Christians can give people hope in a situation that seems hopeless. Our faith gives us the strength to endure.